Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how to download and install ChatGPT to your Windows or Macintosh computer. ChatGPT is taking over the internet and everyone wants to understand how it works and try this program while it's free. Well, it's pretty simple to get because ChatGPT is browser-based. So all you need is access to the website in your favorite browser to take advantage of this awesome piece of AI. How do you do it? Well, let's take a quick look and show you how to do it. So let's switch to our desktop. And it basically, if you visit openai.com forward slash blog dot ChatGPT, it will take you to the main website. Now, if you want to try ChatGPT, it's a simple matter of clicking on this button that says try chat GPT after a few seconds it will download a screen which will and let's log out for all intents and purposes where it says log in to your open AI account to continue now you can either go to sign up or if you want to log in you can log in using an existing account you can either create a account using standard old email address or password or you can continue with either your Microsoft account or your Google account. For this video, we're gonna use Google account. We're gonna go ahead and click on an account, and after a few seconds, uh, it will log us in. Now, if this is the first time that you're logging into the Chat GPT website, you will have to verify the process with your smartphone as Chat GPT on initial setup requires a two-step authentic authentication code which will be sent to whatever email address that you are using in order to verify it's you. In most instances, rather than email, it will send a text message to your smartphone that you will then verify that you are signing in the Jet GPT. Now, as far as the main website uh, is concerned, and let me step back for a minute, this process works on just about any device. So it doesn't matter if you use Windows, uh, even if you use Macintosh, Let's open up a Mac window real quick and close some of this stuff out. It will be the same process. So give me a few seconds. Let me go back to the chat GPT main page on our virtual Mac and it will one of these days take us there, but it's misbehaving. So we're not going to worry about it. Anyway, the main interface screen for chat GPT, regardless of your device, our device will show the capacity, the example, the capacities, and the limitations. Now, down at the very bottom of the screen, you can type in your query of whatever you're looking for, and ChatGPT will begin to interact with you. Again, AI that is not necessarily AI, but more or less a tool that you can utilize to type in information that you want to use, and the AI will work for you. Now, what if you want to download the actual app onto your device? Again, for Windows and Macintosh users and Linux users, it's a matter of going to a website in the browser. And the best website I've found so far is the uh, GitHub website. So basically, if you go to GitHub and type in ChatGPT, it will bring you up a listing of where you can download it for each device. So you've got Windows, which is here, Macintosh, which is here, and then finally, Linux, which is down at the very bottom. Now, again, with the chat GPT, if you don't download the app, it is HTMI based, which means that you will have to log in with your user account and your password if you were to log into chat GPT. Now, I'll show you a quick glimpse of the apps, and I will let you know that there are some difficulties logging into the app if you were to download it. So here's the app. Uh, as you can see, the interface is a little bit different because it has a menu bar. But if you log in or sign up, you can go ahead and continue with Google and put in your Google account. But the thing that I've been encountering sometimes is that it will want your Google password. But sometimes it won't let you log in. So that's the biggest challenge that I've seen. So there's really no advantage to downloading the app. 
your best bet is to just go ahead and go to the chat GPT website and utilize the AI there again it's free to visit the website and set up an account and you have somewhat of a range of the queries that you can input in chat GPT just to try it out so I hope this helps you download chat GPT if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and if you have any comments be sure to leave them in the comment section again and make sure that you comment like and subscribe on this video because I know that you know some people that want to use chat GPT and get the most out of their technology so I love technology I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun safe and easy for everyone so take care of yourself to take care of yourself and do many things that make you smile and thanks for watching